Hey everybody, welcome back to the adventures of Nico Bellic. We are here in Liberty City, seeing if we can help out our friend Roman, and along the way, help out ourselves. Alright, when we left off, it was about 5 or 6 in the afternoon. Let's see, it should be around 11 o'clock, yep. 11 o'clock on our Saturday night. So what is there left to do? Well, we've already gone out with Roman. We've gone on a date with Michelle. So why don't we go across the street to Comrades and see whether or not we can get in trouble with Vlad over here. We've already ran one mission for him where we went and put the strong arm on a uh, China oh, shop. Owner of a china shop, so let's see what else he's got for us today. You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime. Plain and simple. Well, you're joking, right? This is a joke. Yeah, you're playing hey, a joke on me. Mallory, right? tell Fadig his cousin is okay. He just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Stay away from her. Ah, of course. Now listen, you did good with the business the other day. But now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Who? Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street. Thinks in this country business is done differently. Says he will call cops on us. Okay. So? Jerk needs to be taught a lesson. Give him a beating. Let him know might is right. Hey! Stop that smoking back there! Bushel! Easy, Wait. buddy. <laughs> Go on. Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know me. I see anyone, I don't know you. Ho, ho! Hello, Vlad говорит. Да, да, что ты хочешь? Быстрее, я очень занят. Alright, so let's go on out to the laundromat. Before we get into trouble for smoking in a bar. Sounding like we need to go beat somebody up, which sounds like some melee combat, which is not my favorite thing to do in this game. Oop, let's not miss our turn. But at least we won't have to disarm anybody, hopefully. Okay, the laundromat over here. Who the heck is out doing their laundry at this time of night? That's what I'd like to know. Especially in this neighborhood and for 225. See here. I have a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! Okay, I do vaguely remember this one. Guy runs away from us and we have to go chase him down, don't we? Yep. Alright, let's get over here. Come on, come on, come on. After him. Ah, a blister. One of my favorite cars. Let's go see if we can catch this guy without... He went up this way, didn't he? Alright. Yep. I was talking to Mind Fiend earlier today. He was saying he had heard a rumor, somebody had told him, that the GT, next GTA, GTA 5, is going to have real cars in it. Which, uh, don't know how I feel about that. Because I've always enjoyed the, the, GTA cars. I love my... It's not GTA without burritos and blisters and dukes and your turismos and infernus. You know, your wonderful cars. Boom! I'll ram you off the road! Hey, go back, alright? Okay, you want me to ram you? I'll ram you off the road! We had already established that. That's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to ram him off the road, are we not? Alright. You got me, okay? Why have you not paid Vlad the money you owe him? I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Vlad is impatient man. You will be getting the money to him soon, or your wife shall be using your washing machines to get the blood out of your clothes. Do you understand? I do not ask twice for a favor. I understand. I will get into it. I thought this country was different. Well, this country is not different, my friend. This country is like every other country. 
Money runs the world. Whoo-hoo! Man, we wrecked that blister. Listen to that engine, uh... purr? I spoke to the laundry mat owner. He gets the message. He will pay you now. I like your style. You can be an intimidating guy. It's a shame everybody knows what a stupid yokel you are when you open your mouth. Huh? Come back to the bar soon. Yeah, buddy. You don't want me to show you what a stupid yokel I can be. It's starting to get on my nerves, but... What the hey? It's a job. Okay, let's see if we can't get back to the house. We will save where we are right here. And then see what other kind of mission we can go on. News. Liberty City police are fighting back against charges of police brutality. Police Lieutenant Chuck Montres made a statement today. Police, police do not, not single, single out minorities, minorities for harassment. harassment. It just works out that way. Hey, you got a fucking problem? More on that story at weaselnews.com. Hybrid cars, foolish or flaming? Some sections of Liberty City say the alternative lifestyle of hybrid lovers isn't welcome. If anyone in my neighborhood gets a hybrid car, I'll burn their house down. Global warming's a hoax. Just like World War II. In Albany, Eric House, Weasel News. It's that time again. Time for traffic and mass transit sponsored by Chihuahua Hot Dogs, who say try beating our meat instead when stuck in traffic. Here's Mike Whiteley. Got some real jam-ups out there. Broker and Dukes are just a mess, as some people who shouldn't be able to afford a car are screwing it up for everyone. Speaking of transportation, city officials and the transport union brought long-standing industrial action to a formal close as they ratified the new taxi fare agreement that saw the cost of taking a taxi soar last month. Excessive and repeated masturbation without release. Some local citizens are raving about meth. Weasel News spoke to this woman. Do you mind? I'm trying to get head here. All that shit they say about meth is bullshit. Meth is great. I could turn tricks for 48 hours straight. Incredible. What will they think of next? Jenny Acorn under the Algonquin Bridge. Stay alert. People. This is Weasel News. Okay, cop car, don't pull up in front of me. There we go. Now this car, like I said, a blister is one of my favorites. I'm gonna see if I can't put it. What's with all the cops today? This is one of my favorites, so I'm going to see if I can put it into my parking spot and save it. Have it instead of the taxi cab. Managed to make it back home. You see what condition the car is in. Just listen to it there. But we'll get inside. We'll take a nap, save the game, and when daylight comes around, we will be able to come back out and maybe run another mission for Vlad. Okay, nap time is over. Let's go back out. See if we can't get another mission going for Vlad here. Like it's going to be an overcast day today. Now this blister here, it's not going to have the kind of uh, definitely not going to have the kind of endurance that the taxi cab had, but it would definitely have uh, a little more speed and a little better handling. Okay, back into comrades. <laughs> so she sends me out to the I find plenty of it. Okay. Where can I get? Ah, 
Yoko, there you are. Okay. Glad. Come on, let's go for a walk, okay? Right. Okay, come on. I don't even like that. Bothers me when Vlad's trying to be buddies. Where are we going? To my car. Why? Because of your cousin. What? Owe me a lot of money and until he pays me, you fresh up the boat. Excuse Yakov, me. Yakov, ass is mine. What the fuck you mean, why? Hey, you are a pretty relaxed guy, huh, Vlad? Come on. Bonavincia, start a wage mark. Come on, Yakov. What's wrong with you? You gonna jump me? No, I had a late night last night. Spent it with Mikhail. Great. Yeah, oh, wild. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. That's so who the hell one. is Mikhail? Hey, Mikhail's the man. What the hell is that guy Shit, my nose is bleeding. Is my nose bleeding? No, not yet. Fuck this. Come on! Wait! I'm walking hey, here! Wait the Let's fuck go! Up. Damn city, always trying to run you down, huh? Hey man, can I Get that job, hey, you deadbeat give me drug some, head! Just a little change, man! Man, hey, where do these whoa, people whoa, get off? Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habits! Well, say something! You are so fucking laid back! Moron! Come on! Want some? Good. We walked all the way over here so you could snort coke? No, listen. Ah, uh, that's better. Huh? That's better. Man, Michael gets the good stuff. It's got some laxative in it, though. Gives you a stomach problem. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah, listen, huh? <laughs> where, where, where? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I need you to head up to Dukes and get a car for me. It's a silver blister. And it's packed on the projects by EIC subway station. Okay? Sure. <laughs> you yeah. got keys? Uh, no, Yokel. I need you to take the car. Asko owes Mikhail some money. Take his car instead, huh? We're gonna <laughs> drive over there? What? How are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I wanna be in the car with the peasant? Come on. I'm gonna go meet somebody. <laughs> Have a little <Okay>. party. <laughs> Fine. Have bye, fun, bye. dickhead. Why do I get the impression that Vlad smells like Axe body spray all the time? What do we got over here? Is this another baseball bat, huh? Okay, so now we know where the free Molotovs are and we know where a baseball bat is. This could come in handy. Not too bad. Pistol Molotov baseball bat. I think I'll start carrying the heat around with me just in case. So it's behind the train station. Yeah, we haven't had a haven't had a uh, train trip this time around, have we? Cool. We have to go all the way to the top here. Yeah, up to... is it this side? Yep, it's this side, so not quite all the way to the top. And we get over here and just wait for the train to come by. As we look out on, uh... What's well, Coney Island? I'm not sure what they call it in this game. Here comes the train. I actually enjoy the train rides. Actually, let's put away the uh, gun and so we're not sitting there pointing it at people all the time. Okay, walk up here, hit F. And we will walk on. Actually enjoy taking the trains and the uh, taxis quite often. Gives you a nice view of the city and you can sit back. It's kind of like the minecarts in Minecraft. You can just kind of put it on autopilot and just let it go. Go get you a cup of coffee or just sit back and watch the scenery as you move through the projects. Gonna have to remember to make sure we get off at our station. Oh, come on. Okay, so let's go find the silver blister, shall we? Is that 
press enter to speed up the trip. I didn't press enter. I was enjoying the ride. I like the smell of urine and old hobo. It's a very subtle difference in the smells. It takes a true connoisseur to be able to tell the difference. Alright, so it looks like the blisters over this way. We're going to arm ourselves with a bat. I don't want any gunshots to uh, draw attention. Yep, especially when we've got a cop walking around right over there, across the street. Yeah, I think this is the guy with the blister. Okay, hopefully that cop will leave. Don't see any others around. This car belonged to Vlad. No, it's Ma. Who asked you? He belongs to Vlad now. You should pay your debts. You that fat Russians, bitch? Just try and take. for the price of one. All right. Blister is mine now. Forgot to turn off the music here. We are definitely not wanting to get into trouble with that, no matter how much I happen to like the sounds. There we go. So back to taking it to the lockup. Well, that baseball bat came in handy. That was a good place for him to drop me off. I have your new car, Vlad. It's not pretty, though. Real dirty. Dirty? I can't sell a dirty car. I know you cousins like them dirty. Maybe your whole yokel family drives around in a dirty car, but it's not the way over here. Fucking peasants don't do nothing right. Hey, I could fuck this car up worse than a little dirt. Relax, man. You should lose your age. There is a car wash over on Saratoga Avenue. Just to take it over there, and then to my lockup, just up Mohawk. Did they give the car up easy? He's a little bruised, but he gave it up easy enough. Good. Dead guys can't pay interest. Okay, so let's take the car to the car wash. Hopefully right up here on the left. Yes, no. Um, down this way maybe. Oh, I was really trying not to beat it up. But I don't think this is one of the missions where it takes off a whole bunch of money well, I don't think it's one of those missions where it takes off any money, really. There's some ones in the later on when you're running for uh, one of Brucey's friends. And you have to actually... Oh, Lord, we are way off the beaten track here, aren't we? Let's go to the map. And let's do what we should have done to start with. Set a waypoint here. Or is that the car wash? That is the car wash, alrighty. So it's already taken us there. A couple of where later on you have to steal some cars and you only get paid if the car's in good shape. So, kind of drive it nicely. And if it's got any scratches and dings on it, you take it to the pay, the pay and spray before you go drop it off. This one, I think we just have to wash it. As long as I don't, like, lose a hood or a quarter panel, I think we ought to do okay. Whew. Hot sunlight. Everything's going monochrome all of a sudden. I've had days like that down in Georgia where it gets so hot all of the colors ain't to be bleached out of everything. Scratch it up a little bit more, shall you? Alright, here we go. 
This is also important. A lot of times on dates, the woman doesn't like it if you're driving a dirty car. Hmm, into the car wash. I think I've seen a movie a lot like this before. Well, I don't know if it's a movie if it lasts six minutes. It was still significantly longer than a uh, car wash would be in this game. Although, statistically, three minutes is all you need, right? Very pretty. Can I get the hot wax, please? is clean and the car wash is always open. Nice. Now let's get it to the lockup without dirtying it up or scraping it across anything anymore. Or we're hitting the police car. These people, I tell you, it's like they, they scream when you squeal tires beside them and go running. Of course, if I lived in Liberty City with all the stuff going on and all the people getting shot and all the people like me running around carjacking everybody, squealing tires might uh, get me upset too. Same kind of thing that I'd be hitting the dirt at the sound of the least backfire. Folks, just get out of the way. I just want to get up to the lockup without banging this car up anymore. Is that so much to ask? Really? Alright. Down this way. Can we do it without hitting anything? Yes. And to the left. when you have to drive this carefully in a GTA game. At this rate, I could go with that car insurance company that puts the little meter inside your car to show how good or bad driver you are. And I would come out quite well, I'm sure. Oop. Okay. Maybe not. I always seem to uh, curse myself by uh, by saying things like that, don't I? Alrighty, we got the car in the garage. How much are we getting paid for this one? Not too bad. We're up to 9.55. Not bad. So we're gonna call Vlad now. I put the car in your lockup. You're not as stupid as you look, Yoko. Come back to see me at the bar soon. Good. Yeah, yeah, I know how to use the phone. Let me look around, make sure there's no hidden weapons around here. No red spots, I see. All right, so back to the house it is. Let's grab somebody's car. I don't want to grab the one right next to us there. I don't want to beat anybody up. I'd rather just steal this car that's already Sorry, running. Man, this is a car oh, great. Let's see if we can get away from the cops that are behind us there. Hopefully they're on foot. They are. So if we can get right up here and stay out of sight. Let's go on so he doesn't come down from the left and see us. Should be able to get, yep, nice clean getaway. All right, so it's back down to the apartments now. I think it is a straight 
shot down this road, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, I am. Good. So back to the apartment. There's a cop car that's always nice and convenient there. That may come in handy at some point. There's a lot of little blisters and compacts showing up. That seems to be, has been a trait of the GTA engine ever since the early days of GTA 3. Is that when you start driving a car, you suddenly see a lot more of that particular kind around. I think it's because it gets loaded into memory. And that causes it to uh, be a lot more prevalent on the spawn table. Now let's go on in. We are going to nap once more save our game and yet another slot right below hung out to dry yes save it there and that is where we will leave it off for today I'm gonna have to see if I can get my internet working we've had a bad thunderstorm down this way just a little while ago and it's knocked out the uh, cable connection so while this is editing and processing, I'm going to see if I can get things hooked up again so I can get it uploaded. So y'all have a good one. Hope you've enjoyed your weekend. Hope you enjoy your Memorial Day if you're here, in the, or Labor Day if you're here in the U.S. Hope you don't have it off, or have it off rather, and get to enjoy it. This is one of the first Labor Days that I haven't had to work in quite a while, so I am going to enjoy it. And we will see you next time. So thanks for watching, and bye-bye.